Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Champions number three. Guys, this is a comic with a message. I know it's called Hashtag Champions, but let's call it Hashtag Message. You guys ever remember that movie, Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood? Yeah, that old movie. Where every so often, what was it, Keenan Ivory Williams? Message. He would pop up and just message every time that something important was delivered. Well, the entire second half of this book was nothing but that. The first half, it started off exactly where it left off last issue. Viv and the Hulk were kissing. And would you be okay if they didn't address that? <laughs> so, you know, Hulk's not that into it. She's not into it at all. She actually makes a suggestion, maybe I should try another gender. Miss Marvel lets the uh, guys down easily and says no. But anyway, <laughs> it's... It's cool, everything's going on, it leaves that open that, you know, maybe uh, Nova's gonna actually wind up getting with um, Viv, which is cool, I think that's what, for the most part, we want, it's what I would like to see. But getting on with the actual message, they bring up Malala, yeah, there was a, I think the book was the same name, but I know that there was the movie that came out, uh, I Am Malala, or He Named Me Malala. Anyway, I think the book was, regardless, whatever. I, I never watched the movie, I never read the book, but I've followed the stuff on the news. Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala shot in, and you know what, I shot by the Taliban. They pretty much explain it very well <laughs> in, the, uh, in the comic. I was sitting there reading and I was like, crap, I gotta look up my facts just to make absolutely sure that when I review this comic book, I don't get anything wrong. No, no need. They handle it just fine. Pick up the comic, you'll know all about it. It's a true story. Anyway, and it just happened, what, two years ago to that effect? But regardless, yeah, here's this, you know, wild story. These guys are in uh, Shar Sharzad, I think it is, a fictitious land, but obviously supposed to be one of those Hindustani places. And yeah, there's Taliban is there or something to that effect, um, could be whatever. And they go there and they have to try and beat up these guys who are going to try and kill these girls because they dared to learn. By the way, if you guys do pick up the book, which I hope you do, support your local comic book store, the book that they show in the beginning, it's actually in Arabic, not in Urdu, and it's an English grammar book. So interesting, right? But it's very cool that they show that these girls, because they're, they're looking for a leader this whole time, the champions, and they seem to be leaning towards Scott, though nobody really wants, you know, young Cyclops to be the leader, but he does have the most experience. Your favorite is going to be Miss Marvel, because she did create the team, she does have the biggest heart out of everybody there, and if not, she can shapeshift and make the heart bigger, but regardless, trying to figure out who the leader is going to be, uh, Amadeus Cho, the totally awesome Hulk, wants in on it also, I'm the smartest. Uh, Viv might argue with that, but regardless, it's it's really good stuff. Viv is actually nominating uh, Cyclops. I don't know that they necessarily need a leader, but I would like it to be Kamala. But regardless, this girl, Amal, is clearly in charge of the team right now. And I'm very cool with that because this is an empowerment issue and you don't get that enough in comics. Uh, there was a woman, uh, a Wonder Woman comic called Spirit. One of these days I'll get into that story and how much I absolutely despised that story. The exact wrong story to perpetrate. Everybody's got their own culture. And I, you know what? Just look at the fact, look at the, the idea that people in America don't like when other people bring their cultures here. Imagine how they feel you going over there and bringing, you know, your culture. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. And that's what that story did. This story, like I said, Amal is in charge. The girls there are in charge. They're the ones that have to be seen doing the, the, the winning by, you know, talking on the microphone and talking down at these terrorists. And that's exactly what they are as terrorists coming forward and trying to shoot up, you know, the, hurt these girls. They said, kill the girls and burn down the schools. Oh, man. But this stuff does happen. This stuff does happen. So it's a very, very emboldening story. And it ends on a really weird note. The day seems to be saved. You know, the, 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 uh, they're painting C's on their chests, <laughs> you know, like they're, they're one with the champions. So I, I like that. It was very heartwarming. At the end though, it ends on one heck of a cliffhanger as they're flying away in the ship that the five person ship for the six man team. Yes. Yeah, Cyclops is stuck standing. <laughs> I love how they're, they're just dumping all over him. But Amadeus Cho made this thing, the, the Hulk. And as they're flying away, a rocket, <laughs> oh, hits them. And 
yeah, actually blows up the ship. So this can't be like a misery ending where it's like, oh yeah, she's perfectly fine. No, you, you actually wrote her falling off the mountain and dying. Now you have to fix this. No. So I'm interested to see what they're going to do next with this. Uh, this is, uh, again, this is just such a great comic. I'm giving this an A. You can't read this and it not be an A. I like the art. I think the art does go well. I, I read a review online because I took so long to get this out. And somebody said, oh, the art doesn't work with the story. Disagree entirely. Sorry. Go back to whatever little article you were doing. The art in this is just perfect because this is supposed to be a story you know where us adults can read it but it's supposed to be for teenagers also and they don't want to read your noir so sorry i like this art even for the heavy stories it's great have you ever read what was it per persephilis i can't believe i forgot the name now it's been so long since i read it though but anyway getting on too long a for this comic guys professor bill comic book university class dismissed